Welcome back to the Aspen Shed once more. And today I'm starting on something that I've never done in my life before. Uh, this is a little FM transmitter. Uh, I downloaded the schematic and everything from the internet and it also had um, what do you call it the PCB diagram which I um, the diagram of a printed circuit board which I downloaded and stuck to a piece of perf board and cut it on the reverse and soldered in bridges and what have you and in the end I got it working so what I'm going to do now for the first time I've never done it before I bought a little kit off eBay for 25 sovereigns to do uh, photo resist PCB boards. So, this is the piece of board, and that's the area I'm just going to cut out with a saw. And I've printed the little circuit onto a piece of um, uh, material that accepts. Um, inkjet printer ink clear material and once I've got that ready the next bit is to uh, stick the printout on here and expose it to UV and I, <clears throat> I think for 10 or 11 pounds I bought a little uh, uh, nail varnish curing machine that's got four LEDs and F four, four UV fluorescence in it and for the 10 or 11 pounds I thought it was good value. I'll show that in a minute because I'll show the process. Yeah, cutting the PCB is not fun. One starts to think uh, if I can master KI CAD, uh, I can cut these and drill them on a milling machine. Anyway, we'll proceed with this little experiment and see what happens. Be back in a minute when I got myself organised. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, film most of the process. Uh, this is the kit that came from those people on eBay. Uh, it didn't come with two jars, these are two coffee jars, glass, which I thought I'd juice in as I was de dealing with corrosive substances. And of course, when I was using it, I had uh, rubber gloves on and a deep sea diver's helmet. Uh, the kit came with the two uh, chemicals, it came with the uh, developer, uh, sorry, that one was the developer, the developer and the etching solution. It comes with uh, four boards, uh, two single sided and two double sided and they come with a plastic tray to do your developing and etching in. Right, so uh, we can now move that to one side. If we had some room in here we could move it. I'll just balance it over there out of the way. Right, so what happened? 
Well, as I showed when I started, we printed out that little circuit. This was my first ever go at it. Um, I've got one of those, uh, I think I've already said, uh, nail curing uh, UV light boxes. I did one cycle with that on the photosensitive uh, board. Comme ça. Uh, the resultant uh, PCB, I couldn't see anything on it after I put it under the UV. I put it in the developer thinking nothing was going to happen and suddenly I'd got a oh, I got a circuit which was visible on the copper. It was only a couple of minutes sloshing it round in the developer. I was left with the black outline on the copper and then I dropped it into the bottle of the etcher and I, I suppose that must have been 20 minutes I couldn't tell you exactly because for the first five ten minutes and more I thought well no right until the end I thought there's nothing happening I couldn't see anything happening I expected to see bare patches appearing and all sorts nothing happened and then I went back to it and it's possibly 20 minutes and I looked and there we were it was all done and finished there's no holes in it where they should be it come out fantastic so the next job is to drill that and then I'm going to populate it although I've already got one of these little FM transmitters I just wanted to go through the process of making something on my own PCB. So, next up, hole drilling. So I'll come back when I've drilled a few holes. As I say that if I was uh, able to mill this on my uh, um, router, I've got one of these small Chinese routing aluminium routing uh, machines um, I've also got a, a, bit, a bigger uh, milling machine CNC but if you were to produce that on the CNC it would uh, cut out all the tracks but then it would go on and it would drill all the holes exactly in the right place uh, and then it would cut the outline out and it would be a finished jobby but we're going to try this method first before we go any further as I say I've got to get my head round KICAD we're nearly there but uh, not quite and then I can produce my own silhouettes and go another step where all this is going I don't know <clears throat> uh, what I don't want to do is finish up with the uh, MI5 or skunk works coming round to see how I do all this right we'll be back soon well that wasn't too painful I used uh, a one mil drill in my uh, Chinese drilling machine of all the machines I've bought that, uh, and all my machines are Chinese the cheap drill seems to be the worst the others are good quality and you can't argue with it they're machined right and they work right but the drilling machine has got such a headache on it, it's unbelievable. Anyway, that's another subject. This is about this little PCB. And now I'm going to try and populate it and see how it solders. There we go. I don't think I've missed one. Right, 
I'll start populating it and I'll let you have a look in a minute or two. Well, there's the first component on. Um, the photo resist, I think, must leave a film. So before uh, soldering, I just uh, wiped it over with a, a little bit of, uh, I think it was 1200 grade uh, uh, wet and dry. I just wiped it over a couple of times. And the first soldering attempt was very straightforward. It uh, sort of flowed on the pads, made a neat job, no problem. A lot better than trying to sold, uh, sold a strip board. So there's number one component, a one mega ohm resistor. So I'll put a few more in and I'll let you have another look in a minute or two. God, that looks good, doesn't it? And all the soldering's going on at quite a rate. It's very easy to solder. It flows very easily around the components compared with the one I made yesterday on strip board. That was a nightmare of a job. A nightmare. So I'll carry on. We've now got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six resistors. There's just another two resistors to go and then we can start on the capacitors. Uh, we're bombing along here. We've got the caps in. All of them. Next two transistors. Which are going to be... Uh, which are going to be... Uh, transistors. Uh, oh, 2 n 3904s. And I've got plenty of transistors. Loads of them. All these boxes from China. Right, so I'll get these two in and come back in a minute. It's been quite a quick build this compared with some of the old ones. Finito! Uh, that's it complete. The only things to be attached is uh, a ground and 9 volt poly poly positive. The microphone, I haven't got one. It goes at the end there. Everything else is populated. The other one I did, I had a uh, five turn uh, coil. This one I've gone for six because it says between five and eight. So happy medium. Uh, I have acquired a proper 40 PF um, trimmer for this one. So I'm going to connect it up and uh, see how it performs. The best I'll get out of it is click, 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 because I haven't got a microphone. And I just uh, short the wires to the microphone and I get a click. Or I attach my um, function generator and I'm putting out a 20k signal, which gives a a bit of a tone I can hear through the radio. That's me test. Oh, I've got the aerial to do as well, so I'll pop an aerial on and uh, we'll be ready to test. Right, that's the end of the jobby. I've got a 9 volt battery clip on it. I've got uh, Two wires connected to the speaker <coughs> input, which I haven't got. Well, audio input. I, can put, I imagine you can put uh, an audio signal through that as well as a mic. So <coughs> that, we've got an eight-inch aerial. Uh, 
and it's got a little trimmer pot on it and by by year we've got a little Sony FM radio I've tuned it between stations and that's what it was set on with the one I built yesterday this one of course looks a lot neater and the PCB was superb another skill it must have been pure luck to get it out like that the first time gotta be luck right so we need a 9 volt battery has had no effect on the radio as yet we'll try the little trimmer part Sounds like we got it there. So that's a good start. If I touch the two wires for the speaker, we are transmitting. So the only other thing I've got, I haven't got an audio signal I can put input, but I have got uh, the uh, signal generator putting out a square wave at uh, 20k oh it's definitely transmitting isn't it definitely that's it that's 20k and that is 2k 20k we're transmitting right I can't wait until I get a microphone to try it properly so yeah that was today's little project happy with that uh, the schematic for this is ready 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 readily available on the internet so it shouldn't have any problem getting that it's uh, uh, two transistor VHF spy radio right I hope everybody's enjoyed that thanks for watching uh, it was just a little project but we'll have something different again I expect soon cheers bye now